Alright, I just pulled in here to Caddo Lake State Park. <laughs> I'm going to go check it out tonight. <laughs> very pretty place. I have been here before. It's a very unique state park. In fact, it is on the only natural lake in the whole state of Texas, believe it or not. So, let's go check it out. She's Typical signs, don't gather that firewood, keep your pets on a leash, no drinking and stuff like that. Well, this campground has some awesome cabins. I have stayed in one before. Very, very fun. Um, I can't remember how much they cost, but yeah, camping here is only 15 bucks a night, so it's very reasonable. I don't really understand how the state park system decides how much they're going to charge at each park. Because this is a lot nicer park than, say, Cedar Hill that charges 25 So, yep, these are the cabins. Very cute. That would be a fun way to spend Christmas with the family. Get a cabin here. I, I am looking for a campsite number 30. Yeah, this is kind of steep. This would be a little uh, unnerving in a big camper. If I was pulling a big rig or something. It would be. Remember the very first time I ever camped here, Jesse, my daughter was about 10 years old and we'd never been here before. And I think we camped right there in a tent about like that. <laughs> We were on a road trip and it was the week before Christmas, just like it is now. How interesting. I sure do miss that kid. So the thing I love most about the Texas State Parks is how clean they are. They're just all so well kept and lovely. Well, I say all, most of them. This is no exception though, this is beautiful. Simply beautiful. So these canoes are all chained up right now. The first year I came down here, I could, like I said, that had to have been 20 years ago. There was a sign on the door that said, if you want to rent a canoe, slip 10 bucks under the door for half a day. So we did. And they just had the canoe sitting right there, ready to be launched. Somebody must have taken advantage of that and it's no longer. Isn't this cool? I wonder if there's any gators out there. That would be cool to see a gator. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that cypress is not doing well. It is shower time. Off I go. I bring the buddy heater when you take a shower. Gotcha. So the shower situation here at Caddo Lake State Park really leaves a lot to be desired. Man, that was really no fun at all. Um, I should have brought my camera in there, but I didn't want to get it wet and stuff, and I'm glad I didn't. There was no place to hang a towel. There was not a bench to sit on or to put your stuff. Um, there was a little tiny bit of counter space where your stuff would either fall into the trash can or into the wet sink. Um, there was a little sign that said hot water might take a while, so be patient. No, it took 15 minutes at least before it got hot. So finally it got hot. I noticed, yay, it's steaming. And it was hot and I got in there and I'm like, okay, this is cool. Within about a minute it went from hot to warm. And so I was able to finish my shower, but... The, no water pressure. It was just not good. It was just so cold in there too. So I brought my buddy heater in, turned it on high, so it had a little time to warm up in there while I was waiting for the water to heat up. But um, without the buddy heater, that really would have been a miserable, miserable situation. So I decided to ride down here to the bathroom and show you this shower sitch. <laughs> it's crazy. So I used this uh, family restroom. So 
so yeah. There's nothing to hang a towel on. These don't. These just bend down, so your stuff falls right off. So I don't really know what those are, but yeah, yeah, not a fun, not a fun situation. So this is the only place to sit down. So once you have a shower, it's soaking wet, so there's nowhere to get changed. Yeah, whoever designed this, you're an idiot. See how the counter space? <laughs> Your stuff either falls in the trash can or it falls in the sink. <laughs> Pretty old. Pretty old. But I got the job done. <laughs> anyway um it really is a very pretty park here i am enjoying my day it is a beautiful day uh, it's probably about 55 60 degrees so so i'm just going to sit around here let my hair dry and uh build a campfire here in a little while read a book and enjoy my evening i hope whatever you guys are doing you're having a great day today too y'all stay lost my friends and keep those showers hot And remember, friends, don't be a gator hater. Enjoy the bayou. So silly. Extremely silly. <laughs>